Dancing Lady was developed especially for Joan Crawford after she suffered two box office bombs with rain in 1932 and Today We Live in early 1933. Crawford needed a hit and Dancing Lady gave it to her. Gable and Crawford were a winning team and producer David O. Selznick quelled his nerves about doing a musical by lining up top songwriting talent including Richard Rodgers and Lawrence Hart. Even if Dancing Lady wasn't as successful as the film they were trying to top, Warner Brothers' 1933 smash hit, 42nd Street, it did well enough to stabilize Crawford's star status. Up next, Crawford and Gable again, this time in a romantic screwball comedy also starring Robert Montgomery and Rosalind Russell. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, Star of the Month Joan Crawford questions the value of forsaking all others. Then Crawford experiences the ups and downs of Parisian social life in this modern age. And Joan has two bows thanks to World War II in Today We Live. Hi, this is the TCM Classic Movie News Report for January.